The elaboration likelihood model, or the psychology of persuasion, is a theory that comes from social psychology. It was designed to explain how people respond to persuasive messages. The elaboration likelihood model answers why variables influence persuasion in one context, but not the other. When you elaborate something, you are taking the time to think in depth about it. The elaboration likelihood model was developed by two graduate students at Ohio State University, Drs. Richard Perry and John Cassiapo, in the mid-1970s. The doctors wanted to know why an attractive source would make a difference in one case and not another. Both doctors wanted to provide a general framework for organizing, categorizing, and understanding the basic principles of persuasive communication. So what they did was paint a wall in their apartment with chalk paint. And every time they read a newspaper, they would write on the wall details about it. They found that variables influence persuasion in some cases. It all depends on how much you are thinking about it. I know this may sound confusing, but let's stop and give a little example. Let's say you're moving and you're looking for a new place to live. You'll probably give a lot of time researching what neighborhood is best for you, examining crime rates, prices, and the schools and supermarkets nearby. When you put information like this together and really think about it, you are elaborating. Now, we don't always do this much thinking. So how likely are we to do this much work? That's what the elaboration likelihood model is all about. How likely are you to elaborate, to think hard about what you see, hear, and read? If you're the kind of person who does a lot of hard thinking and you are using central root processing, you're really paying attention to the central detail and the quality of the argument. This root can be a little draining and take up a lot of energy, time, and mental effort. However, some people make decisions based on peripheral root processing. They don't do a lot of researching on safe neighborhoods, crime rates, and traffic nearby. They move into a place that looks nice or a neighborhood where friends and family already live. People like this are paying attention to peripheral information, information that is not really central to what the product is all about. Taking this route is prone to errors in judgment. The elaboration likelihood model offers two routes of information processing, the central route and the peripheral route. I and mean, even some people who use central root processing might sometimes use peripheral roots too. We can all be influenced by what pretty and smart people tell us, and we sometimes make decisions without thinking about them. The elaboration likelihood model tries to predict under which circumstances peripheral and the central root persuasion are used. One predictive factor is motivation. If we are really motivated and involved, the elaboration likelihood model predicts we would take the central route which basically means we really think it through. Another predictive factor is ability. Ability is your mental capability to process information. Opportunity is another factor and it refers to your willingness to put the effort to process information. The likelihood that someone will think in depth about something depends on all of these conditions. So elaboration likelihood, how likely are you to use central root processing really thinking hard about something, or peripheral root processing, allowing yourself to be influenced by outside pressures.